Lakewood. I'm Brittany Andrew. And I'm Sarah Hall. Today, Amor and Willie will introduce us to some new clubs. We'll get more information on volleyball and soccer senior night. And Sarah will let us know about SGA student body elections. So stay tuned. This is WLHS. Lakewood, here's some of our new clubs. First off, we have Empowering Teen Parents, sponsored by Miss Natasha Faircloth. There are no dues. You'll meet the first Wednesday of every month and we'll be giving the wealth of knowledge of being a great parent. Also, there will be playgroup dates when you and your child can develop a healthy lifestyle. Please see Miss Natasha Faircloth in room 12 for more details. She is most definitely willing to help young parents. We also have film studies hosted by Ms. Wooster. There are no dues, but field trip fees. The meetings will be every club day. Also, there will be a field trip to the Cameo Theater in Fayetteville. You'll be learning about old films and the history of how they were made. Please join. It seems like it would be a great club. We also have fitness club now. It's no dues, but field trip fees. You will do 5K runs, color runs, and mud runs. This is to help young people live a healthy lifestyle by doing P90X extreme fitness and long distance running. You will meet Tuesdays and Thursdays in the afternoon with Ms. Wooster. And we can't forget about Ping Pong Club. Hosted by Coach Eulen, dues are between $10 to $25. You will learn the rules of the game. You will also attend and host tournaments and do fundraisers to help get more equipment. Max people to join are 20, no more than 25. Meetings are every club day. Last Tuesday, Cross Country had one of the most challenging courses yet. And where was this course? Lakewood Country Club. Most events are on flat ground, but the Country Club course has a bunch of hills and terrain. Princeton won, but Lakewood came in fifth place, which is still pretty good. But Jessica Espinosa came in sixth place out of 44 girls, which is amazing. Several hundred people came to the event, including runners and spectators. JROTC helped out as well. We would also like to thank Joyce Hall for letting us host our first meet. Regionals are in Raleigh, October 25th. Good, Good luck, luck Leopards! Tuesday, October 7th was Volleyball Senior Night. Five seniors were honored, including Emily Lewis, Rashida Parker, Jordan Tu, Asia Eason, and Kiara Rich. Emily has been playing since the fourth grade. She's a setter and plans on attending ECU for college. Rashida Parker has been playing for six years and she plays middle. So far, she is undecided about where to attend college. Jordan, too, plays outside. She has been playing for four years. She is also undecided about where she wants to attend college, but wants to go to UNCP. Asia Eason has been playing for three years. She plays middle and is undecided about where to go to college. Kiara Rich plays outside. She has been playing since the fifth grade, and she is undecided about where she will go to college. Both JV and Farsi won their games that night. Keep, Keep up, up the, the good, good work, work, ladies. Um, so far we've had key wins over Union, uh, Midway, James Keenan, which is the first time they've ever beat James Keenan, um, and North Duplin. Uh, we've had a, a double shootout um, for the first in the conference this year. Now that that's been um, put into play, so um, we've beaten News Charter and, 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 and Princeton. So, but we've got we've got more wins this year than what we've had any previous year. So. Um, I guess you could say every time we win the game is a highlight, but those victories right there are key in itself. What's your team record? Right now we're seven and eight overall, uh, five and six in the conference, and we're tied for fourth place with North Duke. What do you want to say to motivate your team for the rest of the season? Just finish strong. Um, every time we, you know, we go out to play, you know, we never know what we're facing. Uh, we never know who's going to get hurt. You know, we got three games left and uh, hopefully the playoffs. And uh, we've got a couple of key injuries on the team, so the rest of the boys are going to have to step up. And uh, I can't really say what I motivate them on camera. But, um, <laughs> you know, just to stay strong, and, and we've already proved everybody wrong. 
um, people from here and all through the conference. Um, so it's just all they got to do. They got to go out, play with a heart in their mind, and, and just get the job done. How does the future look for soccer? Um, it's looking pretty good. Um, losing five people this year. Um, but, you know, we've got a lot of guys right now. I basically only start three seniors. So that's uh, nine, you know, between juniors and sophomores uh, and sometimes the freshmen. So um, got a lot of guys coming back. Uh, Mr. Sandoval's got the program at RS going back again. So hopefully we can get some of those eighth graders over here. Um, it looks really good. Uh, it's just an improvement process. So once we get those guys over here and, and uh, just keep poking at it and see what happens. Thanks a lot, Coach Jay. Thank you. Today, we will have something special for you, and it's called Stacks on Stacks. Stacks on Stacks is a book drive for homeless children and children from low-income areas. This project is through my favorite site, DoSomething.org. Please bring any new, old, worn or wrinkled books to be donated. All you have to do is drop the books in the boxes that will be located throughout the school. Or just find me, Sarah Hall. If you have any questions or would like more information, see me. Hey guys, this is Mark and Logan with some very exciting news. It's about a new event that the Media Club is hosting called the Pumpkin Carving Contest. You can join the contest as a student or as a teacher in groups of two to four people or as an individual. The contest is simply to see who can carve the best pumpkins in several different categories. The following categories are Best Overall, Scariest, Funniest, Best Themed, and Most Creative. Individuals and groups will be judged separately. Best Overall won $25 and a certificate. All other categories will win a certificate and a bag of candy. Fees are $2 for individuals and $5 for groups. So bring out your pumpkins October 27th. Mark, do you know what my favorite part of football is? What is it, Logan? The uniforms. Anyways, talking about uniforms, the entrepreneurship class has designed some new socks that are Lakewood Leopard themed, and are only selling them for $16. Here's Willie Heron with more information. What made you want to design these socks? Uh, Lakewood needed something new, so. Every other school had something for their team and stuff, so I wanted to do something. Who helped you um, design the socks? Uh, entrepreneurship class in Miss Hall. Um, what are you looking to accomplish uh, with these socks? Uh, make our, improve our school spirit and have every athletic team look good. Okay. As you know, last Friday was our campaign speeches for our student government elections. Seniors running for president are Mark Lopez, Alyssa Green, and Coleman Simpson. Mark Lopez highlighted intramurals and being able to have lunch outside. Alyssa Green wants to help stop out bullying and wants to create a functional suggestion box for students. Coleman Simpson showed his interest in entering the Lived Up contest to help raise money for a paved parking lot. Students will vote for one of the candidates today in homeroom. Ms. Chastity Melvin was inducted into the Hall of Fame. She was secretly surprised here at Lakewood where she won her first state championship in 1994. The cheerleaders did an amazing cheer and the crowd went wild. Chastity gave an inspirational speech and the student body cheered her on to play two of our students. Patrick Phillips, a freshman, and Willie Herring, a senior. We want to wish her luck in all that she goes on to do. Oh my gosh, look at her butt. Oh my gosh. contest to raise what? <laughs> oh, yes, most definitely. I hate you guys. <laughs> oh, yes, most definitely. Uh, Coach Jay has, uh, what's the hat? <laughs> he is just staring. <laughs> what are you saying? I, I, I can't do it. Amara, I can't do this. You no, say the head. You know, Don't say oh, yes, most definitely. It's about a new club. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take three. Stay shifty. Stay shifty. 
Thanks, Willie. Uh, <laughs> <back anytime. laughs>